Hi everyone. Today we will be reading Good Night Thumper story. So let's begin. It was a perfect summer evening. The moon hung high in the sky and the stars twinkled over the forest. All of the bunnies had gone to sleep for the night. All the bunnies except for Thumper. Thumper wasn't tired at all. He bounded along looking for a friend to play with him. In the meadow, Thumper spotted one of his mouse friends. "Do you want to play hide and go seek?" Thumper asked. "Maybe tomorrow," the mouse said. "It's too late to play now. I have to get ready for bed." The mouse reached toward the top of a mushroom and grabbed a falling dewdrop. He used to drop to wash his face. Then the mouse curled up beneath the mushroom go to go to sleep. Good night, Thumper. He said with a big yawn. Thumper said good night to his friend and bounced away. Next, Thumper came to a pond. A mother duck was tucking her three baby ducklings into bed. Can the three ducklings come out to play? Thumper asked. Not tonight, Thumper. The mother duck replied. It's past their bedtime. We can all play in the morning. The three ducklings snuggled close to their mother in the soft, mossy grass. their eyes slowly closing as they drifted off to sleep thumper kept hopping through the forest maybe his chipmunk and squirrel friend would want to play he stopped beneath their tree home and looked up high above in the branches the squirrel was sleeping on his back The chipmunk was also fast asleep, curled up in the squirrel's tail. Thumper sighed. No one wanted to play with him. Suddenly, Thumper heard a familiar voice. He perked up his long ears and listened closely. His mama was calling his name. Thumper still wanted to play but he knew it was time to go home turning himself around he ran through the forest toward the sound of his mama's voice then thumper got home his sisters were waiting they hugged him tight thumper they greeted him we woke up and you were gone we couldn't go back to sleep without you Thumper smiled. He had missed his sisters too. They were his best friends. It's time to get ready for bed, my dear. Thumper's mama told him. Thumper went outside to wash his paws, ears and feet before bed and his sisters followed. Smiling mischievously, Thumper splashed one of his sisters. She looked at him in shock and then smiled and splashed him back. Soon all five bunny siblings were splashing and laughing having a fun time. Before long, mama and papa came outside to get the bunnies. They kissed their bunnies good night and tucked them all into their beds. We love you very much, mama and papa said together. The bunnies all snuggled close but Thumper still wasn't sleepy. Papa, will you tell us a story? asked Thumper. All right, Thumper, but only one story, said Papa. Papa began to tell a story about all the animals that lived in the forest. Thumper listened excitedly, mesmerized by every word. He loved his papa's stories. One by one, the little bunnies drifted off to sleep.
Papa finished his story. He smiled and looked down at his five little bunnies. Thumper was curled up among his sisters, fast asleep. Mama and Papa each gave him another kiss. Good night, Thumper. Papa whispered, "Sweet dreams." So that's the end of our book. So I hope you all enjoyed this story. And next time we will be reading the spooky sleepover. So keep reading, everyone. Bye bye.